After many months here on the island, rain is finally coming. Finally, after all this time, the plants and the animals can finally have their day. In the morning after the storm, many of the plants immediately begin to grow back the leaves, and other plants needed to support life here grow back. Many of the dinosaurs begin to return to the plains as a result of the rains, such as this Platyosaurus, one of the rarest dinosaurs to find on the island. These early sauropods used to be common on the island, but that is until the Spinosaurus came. The Spinosaurus nearly decimated the sauropod populations on the island, and now a few of these gentle giants remain on the island. However, Platyosaurus is not the only one who got crushed by the Spinosaurus. Camarasaurus is another one of those sauropods. Although not as harsh as the Platyosaurus, Camarasaurus is another type of sauropod that was destroyed by the Spinosaurus, yet this sauropod breeds more often, and herds of these sauropods were more spread out than those of their earlier descendants. However, we will not be following these gentle giants. In today's episode, we will be following a predator similar to Mark, but to around our height as humans. This is a Utah raptor, one of the largest raptors on the island. This six foot tall predator, like any other species of his kind, would be hunting in a pack. However, he has no pack. His name is Dennis, and like Mark, must hunt on his own, and he is eyeing up on the Camarasaurs, and he is about to strike. Dennis manages to, to get a kill, but unfortunately for him, there are other predators on the plains taking this advantage. Like these two Allosaurs. Allosaurus is one of the apex predators during the Jurassic period, often being referred to as the lions of the Jurassic. These two mean business and scare Dennis away from his kill. Thus, Dennis will have to find food elsewhere. So Dennis tries to hunt for the Iguanodons. However, a group of Stegosaurus is in the way. The Stegosaurus, however, can be a possible target since they seem to be in a complex ritual here. The ritual of mating. In the group, two male stegosaurs begin to flush blood into their plates to create a beautiful display of color in order to attract the one female in the group. Dennis almost seems likely to attack the herd of stegosaurs when suddenly... A pack of Deinonychus attacks the Iguanodon herd, and the Stegosaurus immediately get spooked and begin to run off. 
Then Dennis focuses on the Deinonychus pack and watches them as he remembers his pack and how they hunted together in the same fashion. As the Deinonychus pack had made the kill, the alpha male be in the pack begins to feast first. This can be very similar to a pack of wolves today. Dennis, knowing that he may get an opportunity to scavenge, goes on in his mind, and he begins to try to scare off the pack of Deinonychus. However, the attempt fails, and Dennis is in serious injury. And Dennis walks off knowing that he has lost an opportunity that could have saved his life. Later that day, he begins to take a nap. But when he wakes up, he's still horribly injured and bleeding. But things might change for the worst as he smells something he hasn't smelled before. When he goes to check it out, he is horrified by what he sees. These are baby Despletosaurus and Dennis knows that their mother can't be too far away from them. And unfortunately, he is right. <laughs> this is a mother Despletosaurus, another early cousin of T-Rex, and she is pissed that Dennis is here. So, seeing that Dennis has no choice but to fight or die, he chooses to fight the mother. Dennis is victorious, and now has plenty of food for himself to survive another day on Dinosaur Island. Next time on Dinosaur Island, we will head out into the desert where a herd of dinosaurs is making their way to fresh greens on the plains.